Hey there, Mission Control. Well, today, I'm not supposed to be working, but I snuck out here and I'm going to try to do something real fast and show you, share it with you guys. Um, you know the pumps, if you've been following along, they've been a problem. These take uh, about 11.4 amps in order to run, and uh, did the math, and we don't need that big a pump. So, this is how big a pump we do need. Uh, I got this online. It's 120 volts. It takes 0.85 amps. Has a max head of 12.13 feet and can go up to 1110 gallons per hour, which is like triple what we need. But um, I got one so I can create some more pressure in the system with, so it has a bigger flow rate. So what I need to do, disconnect this, disconnect the supply line to the uh, grow beds and plumb this all in. So before uh, we get going too far, I want to show you how many amps this thing is currently taking? 12.4743. Roughly 11.72 of that is the pump itself. So we get this out of here, we're saving a ton of power. I'm excited. This is one of the reasons I love using uh, PEX when you're doing an uh, system and experimenting is because it's so forgiving. It's easy to change these out. You don't have to go buy all brand new fittings. You just have to have the tool, remove it, and then you can put all your pipe back how you want it. Almost there. So you might be wondering why we put these big pumps in to start with instead of just the little ones, when the little ones are all we needed. And I sat down and it's been a long time, you know, almost a year and a half since I really made all these decisions. So I revisited it and I figured out the reason why is because of how we wanted to clean the, uh, the ponds. Eventually we had to get in there and clean them with a vacuum, get any of the sediment on the ground out once it builds up deep enough. Well, we wanted to try to make it automated of course so they have automatic pool cleaners and you just hook them up to an inch and a half supply line to your pump and uh, the suction from it runs everything and then uh, it just goes along the bottom of the pond and sucks up everything that you don't want and that was the genesis of why we needed the pool pump it needed to be excuse me needed to be big enough to actually run everything run that cleaner so even though we just got ourselves uh, 11 amps back, which is awesome. Uh, it came out a cost of now we're going to have to manually clean those beds. So I think I'm going to keep that old pump around, put it on some wheels, and uh, use it as a vacuum cleaner when the time comes. So that's the cost of this. And let's go in and look at the amperage here, see how it all looks. All right, so I got it wired in here just temporarily into the switch. We're going to turn it on and see how the power looks. Wow, 0.8 amps, so much better. That's awesome. And water flow, sweet. So I gotta do some cleanup here. Uh, this isn't totally done. I gotta make it look nicer, fix some of the sensors and all that, kind of recalibrate some things. I'm gonna spare you the details of all that. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks to everybody who uh, helped us uh, come up with these solutions. Really appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe, you'll get notified when we put up new videos. In the meantime, everyone, this is Real Martian, out.